Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to do video on British Columbia, Canada, Volcanoes, Volcanic Fields, Part 4. We're going to start with Hyalo Ridge. Hyalo Ridge is a Tuya in the Wells Gray Provincial Park. Hyalo Ridge last erupted during the Pliocene. We're going to back up a little bit. And we'll see if we have any views in this area at all. We do not appear to have any. And we are moving on to IGC Center. IGC Center is a lava dome in Mount Edziza Provincial Park of Northern British Columbia, Canada. It is thought to have formed and last erupted during the Miocene period. And you can see Ezja Peak is over here. And I don't know if we have any views here, so we're going to take our little walkie man over here. We're going to look and see. And we do not. And we are moving on to our next one, which is Ice Peak. Ice Peak is a stratovolcano located 24 miles west of Tatanga and 2 miles south of Mount Aziza, British Columbia, Canada. So this is a stratovolcano. And our next one is Icefall Cone. Icefall Cone is a cinder cone in northern British Columbia, Canada. It is thought to have last erupted during the Pliocene period and forms part of the Mount Edziza volcanic complex. And this is it here. And moving on to Ida Ridge. Ida Ridge is an eroded center cone in East Central British Columbia, Canada, located in the southeastern corner of Wells Gray Provincial Park. And we may have a view in this area. I don't know. So we're going to back up here. And we have Mount McFader there. So we'll go over here. This is a road area. Let's see if we can see anything from this area. And our area we were looking at is up here. That may be up there. And moving on to our next one. Ligachas Range. Ligachas Range. Ligachu's Range is a name given to an extinct shield volcano in British Columbia, Canada. It is not a mountain range in the normal sense because it was formed as a single volcano that has been eroded for the past 5 million years. It's a long time. And then you have Stonecrop Ridge over here. Where we're looking is here. You can see this is Ligachu's range here.
And I always look just to see if there's any any views over here at all, and there aren't. So we are moving on to the next one, which is Iskut Unuk River Cones. Back up a little bit. Iskut Unuk river cones are a group of eight small basaltic centers at the southern end of the northern Cordillerian volcanic province. In the boundary ranges of the coast mountains, the eight are Cinder Mountain, Cone Glacier Volcano, Iskut Canyon Cone, King Creek, King Creek Cone, the Volcano, Sakoned Canyon Cone, Snippaker, Creek Cone and Tom McKay Creek Cone. And you can see the areas here, and that's Tom McKay Lake here. And moving on to our next one, Ispa Butte. Ispa Butte is a tuya in the Astul at Sutu at Sutul at Sutla range, sorry you guys, of County Plateau in northern British Columbia, Canada. It lies on the north side of the Nazca Creek. And this is it here. I don't know if there's any views in this area, so we'll back up and look. Would be nice if there were and there don't appear to be and we will be moving on to our next one itcha mountain itcha mountain is one of the two named volcanic peaks of the itcha range which is located in the Chilcotin district of central interior of British Columbia, Canada. The mountain is the namesake for the Itcha Range, which is one of several large shield volcanoes that stands all by itself. And we'll go out a little bit so I can do a tilt here. And you can see it. We'll check and see if there's any views here. We have Mount Downton over here. And we have Itcha Mountain here. And moving on to Itcha Range. Itcha Range, also known as the Itchas. The Itcha Range represents an inactive shield volcano. This highly dissected volcanic edifice consists of a variety of rock types, including bassanite, howitite, trachyte, rhyolite, funnelite, and alkali olivine basalt. And you can see it here. And moving on to our next one is Jack's Jump. I like that one, Jack's Jump. Jump, Jack, jump. Jack's Jump is a subglacial volcano in east central British Columbia, Canada, located in the south central Wells Gray Provincial Park. And it's little. Okay, let me see here. Here we go. Now you can get an idea. It's not too big. And I don't know. We have no views in the area. And we are moving on to Mount Job. Mount Job is one of six named volcanic peaks 
of the Mount Meager Massif in British Columbia, Canada. It is a pile of rubble held together by volcanic ash and sand. The main summit of Mount Job is hard to climb because of different access and it's horribly loose rock. Isn't that wild looking? I love the view. Okay, so let's see if anybody tried to climb it and left us a picture. And I don't see anything on here. And we are moving on to our next one, Mount Josephine. Mount Josephine is a subglacial mound in the two-year range of British Columbia, Canada. It is located near the southwestern shore of the Tuya Lake. And the Tuya Lake, I believe, is over here. And this is Mount Josephine here. So this is the Tuya Lake here. And you have Tuya Butte over here. And you have Mount Josephine here. I'm going to back up. And it would be nice if there were views in these areas, but there aren't. And we are moving on to our next one, which is Canacone. Which is um, kind of hard to see, but I think you can see it. Canacone is here. Canacone is a red nested cinder cone in northern British Columbia, Canada, located northeast of Eve Cone, in the Mount Aziza Provincial Park. And it's not so easy to see. Let me see if we can see it this way. Okay, so you can see it here. This is Canacone right in here. And we are moving on to Caudy Mountain. Caudy Mountain is a subglacial mound in the Caudy Plateau, the northernmost subplateau of the Stikine Plateau in the northwestern British Columbia, Canada. And Ketacone. <laughs> Kita Cone is a cinder cone in the northwestern British Columbia, Canada, located in the snowshoe lava field of Mount Edziza Provincial Park. It last erupted during the Holocene epoch. And moving on to our next one, Mount Kench. Mount Kench is a volcanic knob in southwestern British Columbia, Canada, located 49 miles east of Rivers Inlet. It is almost completely ice covered. Yeah, I can hardly see it. Okay, so here, we're going to do this, and we'll raise it up here so y'all can see it. There you go. And this is it here. And our next one is Kitsu River, I mean Kitsu Hill, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong word. Kitsu Hill is a young basalted cinder cone on the southwestern Swindle Island on the coast of Canadian province of British Columbia. And we may have a view in this area, so we're going to back all the way out here. And then again, we may not. And we don't appear to. So we are moving on to our next one. Clastine Cone.
Clastine cone is a cinder cone in the northwestern British Columbia, Canada, located near Mount Aziza and Mount Aziza Provincial Park. It last erupted during the Pliocene epoch. And let's do a tilt for here so we can get an idea. This is it here. And our next one is Kenkit, Clinkit Creek Peak. Tongue twister. Clen, Clenkit Creek Peak. Okay. This is a Tuya located near Clinkit Lake. It lies on the northern Cordillerian volcanic province and last erupted during the Pliocene epoch. And you have Gnome Lake over here as well. Our next one is Clinkit Lake Peak, which is in the same area. Clinkit Lake Peak is a Tuya in northwestern British Columbia, Canada. It lies on the northern Cordillerian volcanic province and last erupted during the Pliocene epoch. And that's this one here. And our next one is Coastal Cone. Coastal Cone is a young cinder cone in Wells Gray Provincial Park. It rises from the northeast shore of Coastal Lake in the Caribou Mountains with an elevation of 4,724 feet. Coastal Cone is one of the lowest volcanoes in Well Gray clear, clear Water Volcanic Field. So it's actually one of the lowest. I saw my little blue thing come on, but it didn't show me a spot. So let's try that again. Nope, didn't have one. And moving on to Level Mountain. Level Mountain is a massive complex volcano in the northern interior of British Columbia, Canada. So huge. And our next one is Lightning Peak. Lightning Peak is an eroded volcano outcrop in the Chilcotin Group, and it's 19 miles west of Needles. It is the Kelowana area, and Parado can be found at this peak. Lightning Peak is thought to have formed as a result of the extension of the crust behind the coastal subduction zone and last erupted during the Pliocene. Like most volcanoes in British Columbia, Lightning Peak is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire that includes over 160 volcanoes. That's a lot of volcanoes. So this is Lightning Peak here.
And our next one is Little Bear Mountain. I think, let me go back a little bit. And it's this mountain here. Little Bear Mountain is a basaltic Pliocene age Tuya in the boundary ranges of the coastal mountains that adjoins Hoodoo Mountain to the north. Little Bear Mountain is part of the Northern Cordillerian Volcanic Province. Okay, you guys, if you liked my video, please hit like, please share. Um, I will be back with part five probably on Monday. Um, Thank you, you guys, and have a great day.